to build. And to start off this video, I've got some good news. I got a delivery today. And this I've been waiting for for two months. Two months. Let's have a look at what we got. Open this up. And in here. Let's see. Drum roll. There we go. Look at that. LED lights. Finally. Now, now because I've got these, I can finally um, lay these out in the hole where I want them to go. Um, measure, I'll just show you in the directions here. So, in here the idea is to run one or two depending how bright they are I'm not sure yet so I'm going to test it probably need two strips and they'll go along the bottom on each side these here which are the supports inside I need to cut them out so that I can get one continuous strip along the whole length so I'll just cut uh, or sand a little bit of grooves in there and also where they sit in on there they're supported inside I'll just uh, sand those down too so that the strips will sit flat and then once they're in place I can finally glue the hole together so looking forward to doing that um, I have 10 meters of this which is plenty I know that I'm going to need probably two strips in the bottom and then probably another strip or two on above on the next layer which will um, do the balconies light up the inside of the uh, ship on the top midsection I guess you'd call it um, of the superstructure that's what a word I'm looking for but yeah I'm really glad to have got these and oh and also uh, I did manage to if I can find it uh, oh I can't find it let me just pause for a second okay there it is so as you will see in my previous video I got my soldering iron I was going to practice uh, soldering some wire look my first piece of wire first time ever soldered a piece of wire together so I'm pretty happy with that I know small things mo amuse small minds they say but uh, yeah I'm happy with that so I think I'm confident now. I think this gives me the confidence to do plenty more soldering. <laughs> okay. Now, while I was um, waiting on this, and I've been doing a bit, uh, I also started painting some of the balconies. Now, let me just remove all this stuff out of the way, and I'll show you where I'm at with that back in a second. Okay, so um, now I almost forgot um, getting all excited about the LEDs. Um, please, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Hit the notifications bell so you get notified each time one of these videos come out. Um, what else? <laughs> uh, comment below. I want your comments. Always comment, please. And um, give us a thumbs up if you like this video. You can wait till the end if you decide that. I don't mind. <laughs> um, so, balconies. As you can see here, I've started painting them. Give this focus. There they are. So, not too bad. They're, they are, I'm using XF78, which is a wood deck tan. That's the colour I've gone with. Um, I have to paint these individually. I think I mentioned it in the previous video uh, that there are roughly 470 balconies uh, on this strip and the strip for the other side. So there's obviously both sides of the ship. So that's a lot of balconies. <laughs> um, and they also need two coats, not one. I need to do two coats. 
And then, of course, there's probably m more than that balconies as we go up onto the superstructure itself um, where all the uh, glass balcony railings are and all that. So there's going to be a lot more. So very repetitive, very time consuming. Um, I've got a few hints from people in the comments of uh, suggestions like, you know, sticking some sort of uh, contact um, down in there and cutting out little pieces to put them down but I wouldn't be able to get the colour I want uh, unless I painted it all first. And this is the best way. I've got a nice uh, tiny little brush here and I just go in there and it, it doesn't take long. I mean it only took me two hours to do that. <laughs> no, 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 seriously. It, it took me about half an hour. I, I'm being very careful. One other thing with this is that a lot of these will be hidden. A lot of these you won't be able to see because um, it goes below deck. I think the bottom row is below deck. Um, let's have a look. So in the instructions here, that's what we're painting. That's how they sit. So they're sitting on the inside of the hull there. Uh, so you're not going to be able to see very clearly in there. You have to get up quite close. Um, but they have to be done, of course, because if you do get up close and have a look, um, you will see the, the floors in there. Uh, I thought about doing the little, uh, the two little chairs and table on each balcony, but I thought that's going a little bit too far. Just, <laughs> just a little bit too far. That would be probably about five thousand chairs and two thousand little coffee tables. Not going to happen. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm just going to. What am I going to do? Um, I'm going to paint a little bit more of this because uh, I'd like to get at least half of this done today, and then uh, and then I'll look at uh, working where these LEDs are going to fit in our in our hull. All right, so back shortly. Okay, hello, welcome back. So what I'm up to now is. Um, I've just pulled out the hull and I'm just looking at where I'm going to place the LEDs. Now, here we've got both halves which are going to join up pretty much like that. Now, inside these, there'll be um, the supports that go in here. I'll just grab those. Glad you can't see can't see my desk because it's an absolute mess. <laughs> anyway, and obviously I can only fit in so much of this ship. Um, anyway, so these will go in here like this. So the supports will go in here. There'll be one in there, and then we have one up in here. And I'll just balance that in there for the moment. So you get the idea, which is not going to do it for me now. There we go. So the idea will be to run an LED strip along the bottom of the hull there. And here's the piece that I've cut off my roll. So there they are there. Um, these you cut where the copper joins are. Actually shows you uh, where the point is to cut them to the length you want and then you'll just solder a couple of wires to that if you need to connect this on to another one which I may have to so this has to run along here now what I need to do is sand off a little bit under here uh, so that it will clear the width of the LED strip um, so Take, and same with this one just to make clearance because it's going to sit down there like pretty much like that so I will um, just sand uh, these a little bit here just make a little gap we'll just cut little arches in the bottom and just so that they will run under there without interfering with them and then uh, and these uh, have 3M adhesive backing, so that will just stick down. 
but the main thing I wanted to do first was get the lengths right. Um, the other thing I found out, well, I, I should have realized that these are um, DC 12 volt LEDs, which means that these that I had previously uh, won't power them. They're obviously only 9 volt batteries in there, uh, and that one's even less. So they won't work. So I can't, and I don't have a power supply to be able to light these up. And the reason I want to light them up now is because I want to know whether I need one or two strips in there because I don't know how bright these are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assume I need two strips because I do want it fairly bright in here mainly because the light from in here will go up through the fiber optics to different areas on the deck that I want to light up. So having this bright in here will be fine of course then of course I don't want it too bright because of all the windows here uh, but when we get to that there's ways I can dim that down a bit um, so what I'll do is I'll assume that I'll run two strips down here for the moment and I'll do I'll just cut uh, some of these off for both sides just assuming that there's going to be uh, yeah two strips. Now once I've done that and I've got the strips ready to glue in I'm pretty much at the point where I can actually glue the hull which is something I've been looking forward to being able to do because I really want to get painting on this thing <laughs> and uh, I'll be able to start that so what I will do now is I will just uh, measure this up cut these so that these fit in there without uh, interfering with the LEDs and then uh, I don't know if I'll actually stick them down yet I can always stick them down after this these two holes there's plenty of access to reach in there and do that um, so I can probably do that um, after they're glued together all right so I'll get on with this and we'll come back and have a look in a second Okay, so I've cut these out. I just used a small file and just filed them, make them uh, deep enough to be covered by, so it'll clear the um, LED strip um, while it sits in there. So that'll slide under there quite easily. Um, and I had to also make them just a little bit deeper because there is a bit of a ridge here where this sits in on the hull there. So I need, it's going to go over that. There's plenty of clearance. So that's done. Uh, this one for the, the bow end is done. So all good. So now I'm pretty much ready to glue these two sides together. Um, one thing I did, I don't know if I've shown this or not in a previous video, but we got these uh, thrusters here for the that go in the in the bow now they're all painted up and ready to go uh, this will go in to there um, but these have to be glued in and fitted when I join these holes together uh, otherwise we'll never get them in so it's part of the process and that's going to be like that you can see the blades in there they are painted the silver and they will go in here so they're going to sit in here and then we've got these little doorways hatchways that um, rotate open and closed and they will sit in there like that um, so yeah and they have to go in the right order too because they're slightly different sized they've got to go in the correct order going by the instructions um, and they're not glued in because they need to rotate in there um, so it's just this being glued to there that will hold those in place so I'm going to fit those now and then I will probably glue in these supports on one side and then we'll be ready to glue in the other side although 
maybe um, well the instructions sh show doing all this in one step so um, yeah probably best not to glue the two sides of the hole together before I put these in although it, it might be all right we'll see I mean these there's a bit of flexibility in here I'm sure they'll slot down into their spot anyway like anything we'll test fit it okay back shortly okay welcome back again so what I've done here is I've got the thrusters in or the this panel in I've just glued it in just now um, and if you look at the other side there they are sitting there now they do open and close when they go in so if you just push that you can see that they do open focus there we go sorry the white is really causing problems with the camera but uh, they're in now one thing with these I noticed is you've got to do a little bit of extra um, trimming around the holes in the hull there's like a, a little seam that goes around the diameter inside there that you need to get that off otherwise these won't sit flush and they certainly won't rotate to open like that. Uh, one was a little bit more trouble than the other, um, but you will get it. Now you'll notice that there is some little white spots. I'll just touch that up. Well, I won't even need to because I've got to spray all that red anyway. So they're going to get another coat as well. Um, and there's also a little lip inside there, which will also be red so it's probably best to spray them in the open position um, but at the same time not letting the paint go down too far otherwise it would cover your props that we got down inside there um, but yeah just one thing I noticed was just they're, they're a tricky fit but once you get them they'll be fine um, that's on that one anyway um, so that I'll glue that down just be also careful when you're putting your glue on there you don't get it into those little um, bits where the doors swing around otherwise you're going to glue them shut or in position so just put a few points of glue around and then once it is set I might just touch it with a little bit of extra thin uh, just to give it that little extra around uh, just making sure that I'm, I can still open and close those little hatches that are there. All right, so uh, I'll get on with the um, the other side of the hull and do the same thing um, because before these can be joined, uh, they have to be in place, and then this will be positioned in the centre uh, like that. Oh, I'll get it right, um, like that as the whole sides come together. All right. Okay, back shortly. Okay, g'day, I thought I'd just show you um, balconies that I've painted. So this one I've completely done. As you can see, all the brown ba balcony floors are all done. Um, the other side is half done. I have to do the second coat, which I'll be doing in the next 20 minutes. So I'll start on that. I just wanted to show where this goes and what this looks like so it fits inside the hull here that's where it's going to get glued in and then what will happen is there's what you'll see so you'll be looking through here and you can see well barely see but they are there they you know it's not a, a, you know they're not clear Obviously, the, the ones with the glass balconies up on the superstructure will be much more viewable. But if you do look in there, you can make out the brown, um, the brown in there. So, you know, it, it's worth doing them all. <laughs> now, um, so those are balconies into cabins, which means that 
the back of this would be the glass sliding doors which go into the cabins which obviously don't exist so this would be the glass sliding doors in the back of the balconies there so what I will also be thinking of doing is depending on how bright my LEDs are which I won't know until I can <coughs> put them in and turn them on um, is the option I might have is to get some um, clear plastic cut it and stick it down all the way along here which will give a bit of a reflection of glass in all those doorways now that's that's something I might do it depends on how the light on the inside of the ship reflects off that coming through um, but that's an option of just getting some clear plastic and putting a layer all the way along there just to give that uh, glass like appearance through all those doorways okay so um, I'll get on to painting the other side of this now uh, the other row and then um, probably looking at gluing the hulls together but uh, we'll see how we go I'll be back shortly okay good day back again so um, what I thought I'd show you was um, I also realized I needed to do the stabilizers that are inside the hull now uh, these uh, come out of the side of the hull and um, stabilize the whole ship and these have to be mounted inside so I've painted the, they're the actual stabilizers there and they're the uh, gloss white which I've painted up they're fine and then I have these which go inside the hull which these things go into um, I thought they were black on the inside I didn't realize but they're actually supposed to be the same color as the hull so I'd done them black but then I thought oh well I might as well do them red but really you're not going to be able to see much and even if you I mean it's below the water anyway but on the ship itself um, looking in there it's going to look dark anyway so um, it doesn't matter so I did it black uh, red as they stated it's the, the whole red there okay so to give you an idea how they will sit inside the ship um, they're actually on part eight uh, step eight eight and nine and they sit inside so they there they are there they they move in and out because they're not glued and those sit over the top that hold them in place and keep them covered um, which is also good because it won't let any light get out there which is fine that'll all be sealed up properly um, there's four of those two on each side which are now done okay okay so so I'm gonna call it a video here and uh, main thing is I'm sort of delaying painting the hull and gluing it together because I just want to basically check up on uh, my mate Jason from mod kit stuff model kit stuff and uh, see where he's at I'm sort of steaming ahead with this ship build a bit quicker than I expected and you know, I just want to not slow down but uh, get online with what's happening so um, yeah um, what I'll do now is uh, I'll uh, let all those bits and pieces dry and then uh, we'll let you all come back into part four where uh, we'll definitely be doing putting the hull together gluing it together and hopefully getting it painted up as well um, because I'm running out of little bits and pieces to do <laughs> So if you've got any comments, please put some comments down below. Um, I'd like to read your comments and reply to you all your comments. Uh, any suggestions, ideas, tips? I've been getting a few, which is really handy, especially for the lighting that's uh, coming up. We've been getting some good tips there on what lighting options and things I can try. Um, I'll get uh, uh, love to get some more um, thumbs up, and if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Um, Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notifications bell so you get notified of the videos as they come out. Uh, these are coming out every week 
on a Monday here in Australia. I'm not too sure what time or day will that would be everywhere else, but uh, Monday morning here is when I release the videos. And if you're viewing this for the first time, um, we're up to part three, heading into part four. So I suggest you go back to the unboxing of this playlist on my channel in YouTube and watch it from the beginning. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you all in part four. Okay, cheers all. Bye.